This is amazing. Now we have a tool which can control your own computer. You are able to give a task and it is able to perform that for you. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about self-operating computer. We are going to see the advantages, the disadvantages and do a quick review on this tool. I'm also going to show you a use case on how this can be used. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. Imagine you have many different tasks and they are time consuming. What if you can automate that process? By just giving prompts or tasks, the self-operating computer is able to perform for you. So the first step, pip install self-operating computer and then click enter. Now the installation is done. Next, we need to change the settings in our computer. If you're using terminal or VS code in your Mac, click the privacy and security in the settings tab, then go to accessibility. Once after you click accessibility, make sure you tick the terminal. If you're using terminal, you need to tick Visual Studio Code if you're using terminal through Visual Studio Code. Once after that, it'll ask you to enter the password. Now it is ready for us to use. It might vary in regards to Windows or Linux operating system. Export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. Next type operate and then click enter. Now the application started. I'm going to click OK. Now it's asking, hello, I can help you with anything. What would you like done? I'm going to say open Google Docs and write a poem. Click enter. Now I can hear the sound of taking pictures. So the images are currently being sent to the server and chat GPT vision API is processing the request and is doing accordingly. Now I can see it's operating. It's automatically typing Google Docs and I can see the page got opened. Now I can see it's typing a poem on my Google Docs. The tranquil lake, a mirror clear, reflects the sky so vast, so near. This is exciting. Now AI is able to control your own computer which means you can automate many manual tasks which you do on a computer. You can ask it to do any repetitive task and it can do it for you. One big disadvantage is that it's a little bit slow. I believe it will be eventually faster than this. When it becomes faster, it is going to change the way we interact with the computer. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.